Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my pick for the best cheap CSGO loadout under 5 euros, including every single weapon. But before we jump into that, I just wanted to thank you guys for 500 subscribers. The channel has been growing super fast over the past few weeks. If you're not part of the sub train, make sure to not miss the next video by hitting the subscribe button. And also, if you're looking to search for trade-ups yourself, then trade-ups by is the way to go. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get two days for every month of premium subscription for free. Also, a question of the day here. What is your favorite CSGO skin for under 20 cents? Make sure to leave it in the comments below. I'll be replying to every single comment. It can be in this video or it can be a completely different skin. I'm just curious about your thoughts. But without further ado, let's jump right into the skins. So first off, for the Glock 18, we have the Bunsen burner from the Falcon collection and field tested costing 19 cents it's a really cool blue blue and greenish looking skin with flames in the front and it also has this metallic sheen to it which elevates it to another level for the dualies there is really only one option which is the dualies dueling dragons from the shadow collection in well worn going for only 17 cents i would compare this skin to the to the desert eagle camicho dragon it's pretty much the same but a little less purple it's got this incredible dragon engraving with the wooden handles. The third pistol is going to be this P250 Cazette from the Fracture Collection in minimal wear going for 16 cents. It's the cleanest looking skin in this entire loadout. It's got the retro vibe with the colorful lines going over the gray top and the black bottom and just a little bit of Asian text thrown in there for good looks. If you use the Tech 9, my recommendation would be the Ice Cap from the Gamma Collection in minimal wear going for 17 cents. It's a blue frosty looking skin obviously from the name and it's pattern based so if you would like a bit more white then you can choose a pattern that has a bit more white. It's up to your preference. If you use the CT, however, then I suggest the CZ Auto Polymer from the Glove Collection in Field Tested, going for only 13 cents. This is also pattern based. It has these hexagon shapes, and you can choose to get one in green or blue or even gray if that's what you like. For the Deagle, I went with the Blue Ply in Field Tested, going for 22 cents. It's like the old AK skins, the laminates, like a blue laminate, but it's, it's on a Deagle, and it's fully wooden. It looks like plywood that's been dipped in blue paint. It's not super amazing, but I think it looks really good. And in your hand, it just it just fits the CT vibes. And then for the one person who still uses the revolver, I'd recommend the field tested Crimson Web from the revolver case, going for only 12 cents. It's a classic CSGO pattern, pretty much the Spider-Man pattern. If you can get a pattern with a bunch of webs, that's pretty cool, or a low float, then it's gonna look even cleaner. But it's the revolver, come on, who uses it? And then for the USPS, I chose the forest leaves from the safe house collection in field tested for only eight cents. If your budget is a bit wider then you could go for the flashback which is going to run you a lot more but these are pretty much the only two cheap kind of good looking usb skins so it's up to you which one you choose if you use the p2000 then i recommend the turf from the glove collection and field tested for 15 cents it's a really clean looking green and gray with a little bit of camo in there as well and some white accents so it's a really clean looking and good looking p2000 for the 5.7, I chose the Flame Test and Field Tested for $0.08. Cents. And it's this purple, flamey 5.7 with like glitter thrown all over it. It looks really sparkly in game, on high settings especially. And if you can catch the sunlight, it looks super good. For the MAC-10, I chose the MAC-10 Lapis Gator from the Wildfire Collection and Field Tested for $0.15. Cents. It's pretty much the Hot Snakes, but in blue. And it's a thousand times cheaper. So you can't go wrong with it. It's, again, like a Gucci skin dipped in blue paint. And then for the MP5, I chose the co-processor from the 2018 new collection. And it's in field tested, going for 25 cents. And it's got this PCB look, but in blue. And it's really clean, especially in game, because the MP5 has this cool sheen to it that no other weapon in CSGO has. So it looks really good. That's why I chose to spend a bit more here. If you use the MP7, the motherboard from the new collection is the same looking and field tested. It only costs nine cents and it's the same pattern as the MP5, but in green. So it looks 
even more authentic. There aren't many good looking cheap UMP skins, so I just went with the factory new carbon fiber from the band collection going for 16 cents. And there's really nothing to say about it. It's carbon fiber, it looks good, it looks like a race car. And now we arrive for the first actually amazing skin, the P90 Grim from Gamma 2. In field tested, it only costs 13 cents, and it has these green flying demon soul looking thing with a huge skeleton on the back. So I mean, what's not to love about it? Next SMG is the PP Bison Runic from Fracture. In field tested, it only costs 8 cents and it's got some amazing 3D details with almost glowing holes with the red accents and some runes on the side as well. So I really recommend this and the wooden handle also has a bunch of cool shiny 3D details. For the MP9, I chose the Modest Threat from the Danger Zone collection and field tested for 8 cents. I'd summarize this skin as looking like what a Danger Zone game looks like. It's got these sectioned off square looking rectangles and lines going through it. And the whole thing is pretty much spray painted orange. And now we arrive at the rifles. The Galil AR, I chose the Vandal from the Broken Fan Collection in field tested going for 15 cents. It kind of looks like an x-ray with the bullets on the mag and the cool white flames on the green background. It's not a clean skin, but it's a classy skin. And the all-awaited AK-47. The obvious choice here is the AK-47 Uncharted from Prisma in field tested going for 43 cents. It's got these almost Hawaiian engravings in the wood that look 3D. And also on the, on the metal of the gun, it continues the pattern. And it looks a lot like the default AK, but it's different enough where you'll actually notice that it's not the default. For the scout, I chose the Necropos from Wildfire, going for 17 cents and field tested. It's very similar to the PP Bison Runic, but it's got runes in green all over it. And it's not as 3D, but it's still a good looking scout. It's a good cheap skin. For the SG, I cho chose the Danger Close from the Danger Zone collection in field tested, going for only eight cents which is a steal considering the awesome color combo of orange and blue. Again, it got, it's got these kind of sectioned off patches of color that just blend together and create this awesome color combo. For the op, if you're tight on budget, I'd recommend the op capillary from the Prisma 2 collection and field tested. It goes for 37 cents and it's a, it's a familiar pattern, the capillary. It's got these pink and blue lines over a dark bluish gray background. But if you have a bit higher budget, you could go for the Worm God, which costs about one euro more. For the first auto shoddy that's, that no one's gonna use, I chose the Field Tested Hunter from the Spectrum 2 collection. It's a really clean looking skin, but there's nothing much to say about it because it's an auto sniper who uses it. For the FAMAS, I chose the decommission from the CS20 collection. In field tested, it only goes for 12 cents. And it's got this OG nuke with the red and blue container logos and the wooden, wooden parts as well. Also add a lot of detail to the skin. If you use the M4A4, the obvious choice is the magnesium from the Danger Zone collection. In field tested, it only goes for 23 cents and it doesn't even show where. It's got silver flames and on the back, it even has a CT logo. So it's, it's a really clean M4 if you're into a cheap M4A4. But if you use the M4A1, a little bit more expensive, but still pretty cheap alternative is the flashback from the Glove Collection and field tested. It only goes for 61 cents. It's got a bunch of these references spray painted on in white, and it just adds a bit over the camouflage look. For the AUG, I chose the Ricochet from the revolver case. 
In field tested, it goes for 18 cents. And it's these interweaving gray and blue lines, which go all over the weapon. There are a bunch of like scratch marks. So the better float you can get, then the better for you. The second auto sniper is gonna be the SCAR-20 Grotto from the Chroma Collection. It's got this space theme look with the light blue and dark blue with the lines and nebula looking things. And then for the Nova, I chose the XO and field tested for only 8 cents from the Gamma Collection, which is a metallic sectioned off, and in between the sections is a darker purple with, with some lines going through it, adding some more detail. For the XM1014, the Oxide Blaze is the obvious choice from the Clutch Collection in Field Tested for only 10 cents, and it's like the Deagle Blaze, but in a different color scheme with the Rust and the White Flames. For the Mag 7, I went with the Metallic DD Pad from the Train Collection. You could go with Factory New or Minimal Wear, whichever one is cheaper at the time. I went for Minimal Wear and it cost me 19 cents. And it, it's pretty much gray and white camo, but it's metallic. And then for the M249, I chose the Spectre from the Chroma 3 Collection and field tested only for 11 cents. It's got the amazing color combo of dark blue, yellow, and this marble pattern going all through the weapon. So if you use this gun, pick it up, but I don't think it's necessary because it's useless. Then for a slightly less useless weapon, the Negev Ultralight from the Fracture Collection in Minimal Wear, only for 12 cents. And the coolest thing about this is the arrows on the body are, are pearlescent. So they change color depending on what lighting they are in. And for the final shotgun, I went for the sawed off origami from the Chroma 2 collection and field tested for 11 cents. It's a really flashy yellow triangulated pattern. It just looks like a bunch of folded paper. I mean, it makes sense. It's called the origami. And it does show kind of a lot of wear, but if you can manage to get a low flow field tested one, then it's not going to look too bad. In total, this loadout costs 5 euros and 67 cents, but you can bring it down to under 5 euros. For example, if you use the M4A4 and not the M4A1, that's instantly 61 cents less. The same thing goes for the CZ or the 5.7, whichever one you use, just don't buy the other one and you save yourself a few cents there. So that's how you get it under five euros. And also definitely use buy orders because you can save one or two cents on each skin, which adds up to a good half a euro over all the skins. If you haven't done so, answer the question of the day, which is what's your favorite skin under 20 cents? I will reply to every single comment. And if you're still watching this video, then that definitely means that you liked it. So please hit the like button because it really means a lot to me and it helps the channel grow. So that was it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.